but you know. London to Brell goes by Barbie Portadaria. It's basically is Barbie tough motherfucker. Uh, whoop! Yeah. <laughs> That's my own self bleeping out there. She's making her debut tonight at a fight, Iria Academy. I talked to her Brazilian coach and he said that Iria is like the market. That's where you go to get your market. So they, they're selling fights, they're selling fighters. When asked about her style, she says, I'm aggressive. I'm working on intersecting punches and pressure. So this this young lady is looking to bring it out hard and fast against Haley Woodard. Loves a scrap. Very, very tough. We're gonna have a barn burner here. Yeah, definitely a huge test for Haley Woodward here. An absolute game opponent, which is what you want at this level. Stormont Vale Event Center. Do not miss. Do not turn the channel. Get your butts in your seats. Grab your popcorn, your pizza from Doughboys, your beer. It's about to go down. Haley Woodward, a dangerous striker at 135. She is extremely tall for her size. Uses that range to set up solid teeps, great straight punches. Comes in with a record of six and two, fighting out of MCA Academy. You know, she too, I asked, what were you been working on? And she said Lei Tai, which is a, the Chinese version of, of Lith Wei, the art of nine limbs. Once again, no headbutts. Fighting tonight for her aunt, Terry, to benefit colon cancer research and treatment. So wishing her fast yeah. recovery. I was going to say that same thing about her team. Her, her kicks straight down the pipe are, uh, are pretty nasty. Yeah. Very tough fighter. I mean, never, never shies away from a fight. Never shies away from a punch. She just, once again, very, very tough. That Midwestern tough. So... These ladies look primed to go. A brief pause, and she's in the ring. Getting loosed up. Both these ladies look primed and ready to go, don't they? This is intense. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an amateur women's kickboxing round schedule for three two minute rounds in the MCC Women's Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the one corner is an American big boxer standing at 5 foot 9, weighing in heart, 36.4 pounds. Tonight, she is making her amateur debut. Replacing his fight to the fighting at a Wimber League Texas London, Barbie Poha Tierra Deeper. Her fight across the ring, fighting out of the blue red corner is a lame tiny style fighter standing at 5 foot 8, weighing in heart, 36.5 pounds. Tonight she's with your 10th amateur bout, representing Midwest Combat Academy, fighting out of Topeka, Kansas, Haley Yeah, so we should see uh, should see a little more of that lay tie at work now that you know there's no ground game in this. I was I was really curious when they said they were working on it, so what's Sifu cooking over there? Sifu is a wealth of knowledge. He he he's got a uh, he's dabbled in a little bit of everything. So he yeah. Ooh, good straight jab. Uh, and a there, front kick there, to the face. There's that teep right to the face. She starts out the wrong the round strong, going to work with that oh, in a spinning, spinning back, back fist. Hit. Beautiful. Going for it again. Barbie linking up, trying to stop some of the onslaught of Haley. Barbie Haley definitely, using her definitely range. Barbie definitely pushing forward with the aggression. But Haley using her uh, her length and her range really well. Yeah, her strikes finding her mark too. That front kick, solid. She had a lot of success there. We'll see if she goes back to it. 
Yeah, that team to the face is a uh, is a oh a known sign of disrespect in the uh, the uh, Muay Thai world to keep someone right in the face, and she she started off right off with that. Yeah, well, there's no respect in Top City. Neither one of these ladies, and an onslaught coming out from Barbie with the hooks. Wow, coming she's got in her prepped up. Let's really see if Haley can battle back for control. Just going nuts with the hooks. Haley trying to use the teep to push her off. Yeah, Haley doing her best to create space. But, but Barbie coming in hard with a on, London is huge not allowing onslaught. anything. Poraderia showing why her name means it absolutely monstrously tough. Ref separates, I'm not sure why. You guess too long of a grab for the leg? I'm yeah, not, maybe I'm he sure didn't what like what he about. saw there, but immediately Barbie going back to work. Haley's starting to turn away from some of these punches, but she's yeah. going to have to stay in there. She's going to have to get her respect back because this onslaught is not slowing down. Watch the glove hold there. Yeah, London pushing straight through. Really aggressive. Very yeah, these are two-minute first. rounds. Oh. oh, Haley takes a oh. seat. Looks like she Wow, got, that aggression seeming to work for London's favor. Looks like she threw a strike while Haley was on the ground. What an exciting round one. Was, I mean, it was definitely a knockdown, though. Gosh. Haley started off strong with like good technical striking up the middle, but then Barbie's aggression, London Debrell, just the hooks. Overwhelming. Yeah, she's gonna have to do something about that aggression. It's, it seems like it's gonna take uh, it's gonna take more than just that teep. She might need to throw some some sit down on some straight punches down the pipe too as well to keep her from coming straight in the way that she's coming in. Got to get the respect back. She's not she's not respecting uh, Haley's Haley's uh, strikes at all. She's just walking right in and, and uh, throwing down. Well, and with this two minute round format, I mean, you wonder about cardio. We'll see if it's there to keep that pace because that is a monstrosity of a pace coming out of I would say, London to Brel. especially being a Brazilian girl, it's almost like a shoot -a box style Muay Thai right. where it's just straightforward with, with heavy aggression. Round two. Ooh, Inside good inside leg kick from Haley. Uh-oh. Same thing. London coming in with extreme aggression, getting another knockdown. Yeah, I'd like to see some good one-twos right down the middle just to, because she's throwing hooks, you know. There it is. There's there the right goes. straight. What an onslaught, though. Good well, knees. Both of them with a little bit of clinch work knees. A little clash in the clinch there. London Debrell comes right back on her, stays on her. Haley taking some damage. Let's see if she can work some offense. Good inside leg kick, but having a hard time setting anything up with just this this pressure. Haley turning away from some of these some of these punches. Not oh, a good she look. She takes a seat. She looks like she's hurt. She stood up pretty fast, but she can't do that too many more times. No. I don't know if they got a three knockdown rule or not. But you got to think. I mean, this pace is just. Incredible. Oh no, that might be it right that there. Might, that might be the end of it. And that's it right there. The pressure London, might just be too much. London DeBrell's pressure just. They're still doing another standing count. I guess they're giving Haley another chance. But again, that can't go on too much longer. Yeah, one more. You say it's done. So let's see if she puts her away right here. Haley got to do something to turn it around. Works that inside leg kick. But then eating him upstairs. She's going back upstairs. Another and drop. Still giving her the count, so maybe there's no three down knockdown roll. Another count. How tough is Haley Woodward though answering the call? She seems to be taking her time on this one, but looks like she's ready to walk Ten back seconds. out there. London goes right back on her, right back to work. I mean, at this point, it's a little starting to become a little predictable. We got the inside leg kick, and then the overhand hooks and overhand rights of London to Brill. Yeah, Haley's going to have to do a lot more than that inside leg kick. It's going to take a lot more than that to uh, curb to curb her pressure. Yeah. 
I mean, it's a lot easier to be on this side, but I'd love to see her sit down on her punch and not move. Just fire that right straight right down the center. Cause yeah, definitely something to stop her from coming straight in because she's not. It's not like she's making angles. No, or she's anything. Just, it's, it's just, just it's just straight onslaught forward. pressure. Yeah, yep. a bull in a china shop. And sometimes you got to be the bully to beat the bully. Yeah. We'll see if she can make an adjustment here in round three. See the uh, her coach is being pretty em emphatic in the corner. We'll see if Haley can. Uh, can uh, take this seriously, what they're giving her, because because they know what they're doing, and we'll see what she comes out with in this third round. Interesting choice, no stool. I like it. Visibly tired, but what a gutsy performance by Haley as she answers the bell again. Let's see. Goes upstairs head, for the head, head kick. Head kick from Oh, but she Haley. caught it. No knockdown because she had a she had a hold of her leg. Closing the distance very quickly. Barbie comes forward and more shoots a, a double leg. More of a double leg <laughs> takedown here. <laughs> Which not really supposed to do that in kickboxing. But. Haley looking like she is coming out a little bit more aggressive though. She's she's trying to uh yeah. Meet her offense with some offense of her own. Yeah, choice words. Good straight right. There we go. And then the slip around. Maybe Thrall kind of lit a fire. Answers a good overhand hook of her own. We got a little war. Now we're battling for sure. Back to those straight hooks. No knockdown because she was hanging on to the leg. So it's deemed more of a uh, trip. Yeah, no knockdown. Definitely some solid exchanges. Ooh, good kick to the body there by Haley. Oh, she's working the body of her own. Slips a knee in upstairs. Man, I, Haley's I thought she might slow bit. down, but I tell you what, London DeBrell's pace is... London has not slowed down at all. She's at keeping all. the same pace the whole time. Love to see the punch count at the I end of this I wouldn't even thing. call it technical by any means. It's just straightforward. Straightforward, but there are and levels. Body, body, head, head. Body, yeah. body, head, head. True. She is changing levels with stuff. And that's going to be it. Waving it Waves off. Waves it off. Your winner, Barbie Portadaria London Debrell, wins her debut out of Fight Area Academy. Did exactly what she said she was going to do. Aggressive, intersecting punches. I don't know if I saw that, but the pressure, for sure, was too much for Miss Woodward to handle. Haley Woodward will be back. This is uh, this might be the best thing for her, you know, to, to, to face this kind of adversity. She she uh, dug through a lot, showed a lot of heart, and uh, just didn't pan out for her tonight. Absolutely. I mean, no no discredit to her. She is super tough coming out here, answering the bell every time. Even like lit some fireworks of her own at Absolutely. the end of that last round. But yeah, just a little too much. London DeBrill getting it done with those solid hooks upstairs, downstairs. Just relentless. Yeah, very, very machine-like. It was just, just cranked him out. Like you said, did not slow down at all. It was, it was the same pace from the first bell to the last one. Yeah, cardio seemed to be on a different level for sure. I mean, it's exhausting throwing that many punches. Like. Yeah. I don't know what the punch count was, but it had to be in the hundreds. And these are two minute rounds. All right, our judges to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Nick Perry has called the stop of the fight. One minute, 30 seconds into the third hand, final round, declaring your winner, my TKO, London, Barney Borradera, London Borradera, Barbie, I should say. <laughs> Respect showed Although here. Although she is not to be played with, as she makes her strong opening debut here in Top City. Great fight. Great Excellent fight. fight.